Hey Hensley, come here. This is Hensley's room. Another project while we're in our hometown is figuring out something with this room because this is just, <laughs> just not working. <laughs> So we're gonna do it in phases. We couldn't really decide totally what we wanted to do. And this wall behind me, we do know we're taking this down and we're gonna be putting a giant board of some sort. And then we're also gonna take the kitchen out. Um, we haven't figured out what we're doing with this back wall space yet. The idea is to get as many dual purpose things into one small space as possible. Oh, you're looking super cute, Hensley. <laughs> oh, you're looking cute too, babe. So we thought we would get a piece of metal and chalkboard paint it. That way she can Number. write on it with chalk and she can use magnets on it. Something versatile that she can, um, we're using the space in her walls because we felt like the wall space in her room was not being used to its potential. Hensley. We'll take a couple of these, try to create a border around our sheet metal. shopping for groceries was rough man that was <laughs> carrying around boards and sheet metal and <laughs> this little booger back here chips and sauce Hensley you want some chips Sprinkle of familiarity is nice to have, <laughs> but it's nice to have new things as well. So it's it's good to have. I don't know, a little bit of both, I guess. Good mix. Good mix. We like uh, mixing things up. <laughs> Hensley always calls the cherry. This is for Hensley. It's probably why you see parents start to gain weight. <laughs> they use their kid as a crutch for eating a. gonna try to get some of this stuff out of the way get the kitchen out of here and see what we're looking at you can help me clean <clears throat> clean up clean up everybody let's clean up Still in that in-between phase of we really like this RV, but we're not 100% committed to it. We're about to go to Colorado, and so a lot of it depends on how it does in Colorado in the mountains. If it can't handle going up and down mountains, we may have to do something different. So we're a little afraid to do too much permanent stuff to it. Um, I know all this looks this looks really permanent, but we've still got the old closet and uh, we could actually put it back and it would look the same I think if I could remember how to put it together <laughs> what are we gonna do with this space huh so we're gonna start chipping away at Hensley's uh, chalkboard wall we're gonna try to work on and uh, as usual I don't have a clue what I'm doing it's just kind of <laughs> figure it out as you go I'm thinking it's usually good to scuff stuff up so paint will stick to it because this is a really smooth surface I don't know if that's true or not 
Did um, you not look it up? Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> Ready to paint, Hensley? Hey! I say that looks pretty scuffed up. Or ruined. One of the two. We'll see. Hey, don't eat that. Chalkboard's dummy ended up doing about six coats on it, so I'm hoping that's enough. We'll let it, uh, dry and harden and all that good stuff. Since we're done with these middle edges cutting our daughter, we're gonna paint these white and use these for the frame. This foam roller is definitely not the most efficient way to do this. <laughs> All right, we got the white frame finished and painted, ready to go. And uh, it's starting to be the heat of the day. Birthday candles on the hamburger. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Good job. So one of the main reasons we're redoing Hensley's room is, I mean, man, she's, kids are developing so fast and we want to make sure that she's, you know, stimulated with new toys, new things. It's, that part of it's probably easier in a house. You just got a giant room and you just kind of throw toys out, you know, and see what she plays with. What, did you just eat that? What'd you eat? Hey, give me that. When's she gonna stop eating stuff? Um, don't eat the Play-Doh, just play with it. So that's tougher than an RV, figuring out ways to keep your child mentally stimulated with such a small environment, but we're working on it. And uh, we've brought Play-Doh into the mix and she's really loving the Play-Doh. I kind of doubt you're gonna help, but thank you for coming. Definitely magnetized. <laughs> Hensley, I need that. What'd you take? What'd she take, babe? Your measuring tape. Uh. Finished up Hensley's, uh, phase one of Hensley's room remodel. So far we bought her this, uh, we've got these magnet blocks. And you can, of course, use these on their own if you want to and just stack the stuff or you can just put it on the wall. <laughs> and we've got this magnet uh, map of the United States. So hopefully she'll learn her states pretty fast. <laughs> That's and, the plan anyway, especially with us getting to travel around and explain where we're at and where it's at on the map. So we mm -hmm. thought that was a good yeah, pretty cool good start. We've ordered her some like magnetic letters, numbers, that kind of thing where she can, you know, do all that kind of good stuff on the magnetic and of course you can oh, some chalk yes chalk because it's a chalkboard too so lots of stuff you can do with this board that's what's really cool about it all right we're gonna let his get back to playing and, uh, destroying <laughs> we'll catch you guys later